What's it like to work at Google versus a startup? I've done both, and here's my take on the four things that you need to know when considering whether or not you wanna work at a big company or a startup. Number one, scale. When you're working in a company like Google, the impact that you have is enormous. Every little tweak or little button change that you do can have huge impacts for the entire company. I used to work on the Google homepage and I remember that any small tweak or any small decision would have millions of views within a very, very short time. That can be really inspiring, engaging, and fun. Now, when you consider a startup, your scale is a lot smaller. Um, you're focused on a small set of users, but that means that the amount of changes that you make are often much larger. Instead of uh, changing a small button over the course of a week at Google, you may be changing an entire page at a startup because there's only so many users that are actually affected by that page. So when thinking about scale, I would think about the level of ownership that comes with both of them and the type of work that you enjoy. Do you like those tweaks, analytics, and being very data-driven at this company at scale? Or do you like some of the maybe more creative, uh, flexible work that comes with a startup where you can make a lot of big changes and fail fast? Number two, pace. When I was at Google, I remember that a lot of the decisions that got made would take a long time. There would be a meeting with your manager and then a meeting with an executive and then you'd get approval and then after approval, you'd have to have two week period before you could schedule the launch. Now at a startup, we sort of just launch things whenever we want. And that's really, really exciting, but things do break a little bit more than we expect. So when thinking about pace, think about what you enjoy. Do you like working and collaborating with a lot of different people to have that impact at scale? Or are you one of those people that likes doing things as quickly as possible, testing out ideas, trying out experiments, and learning really quickly from your failures? Number three is community. At Google, I remember having an amazing network of mentors and ambitious, smart people that I got to work with on a daily basis. It was almost easy to make friends and to find really awesome people that were like me. And that huge of a community, it was basically like a college. There's someone who did everything and someone who knew anything. And it was really, really cool to feel like a part of this campus and this experience. Contrast that with a startup where while I didn't have the mentorship and I don't have sort of the uh, scale of the community that I had at Google, there's much, much closer ties within the startup that I'm in. Uh, the people that I talk to on a daily basis, we all feel like we're together. We're working on problems and sort of uh, it's us versus the world. And that feeling can be really inspiring, very motivating, and very, very connecting. Both Google and startups have really, really awesome aspects to it. So ultimately, it's about the type of community that works for you and what you're looking for at this particular time. Number four is risk. Now, this is pretty obvious, but at a startup, you have a lot more risk than you do at a big company like Google. I remember at Google, I never worried whether or not the company wouldn't do well or that there would be a product launch that wouldn't go well or anything like that. Um, to put simply, there was just very low risk at Google. Now, that comes with a little less upside than at a startup, where while you do have a lot of risk and you may have to worry about existential issues with your startup on an often basis, you have a lot more upside when it comes to success and the amount of growth that you can achieve. There's no right answer for this one. It really depends on who you are and what you're looking for in terms of a risk profile and your risk appetite. Do you want something more stable and secure that um, still is really, really awesome and has all these awesome attributes? Or do you get really excited about risky opportunities and things that just might not work unless you put in enough effort and idea and thought and strategy. Now, ultimately, these four reasons are just my four reasons for why I think about working at a startup versus working at Google. And again, I really think there is no right answer to this one. This one's ultimately about reflecting and thinking about who you are and what you like out of working opportunities and which of those opportunities are best for you. Now, whether you're interviewing for a startup or Google, Exponent has a ton of resources to help you with your interview prep at our website at tryexponent.com. We have online interview courses. We have a full question database of interview questions commonly asked at startups and big tech companies, as well as a practice platform where you can match up with your practice partners to do daily mock interviews. 
So regardless of the choice that you make, go check out tryexponent.com to get ready for your next interview. Good luck.